your your wise words. Oh, I appreciate that. What's going on? You're absolutely. Well, you know what? I've been I've actually been living like the lifestyle you're talking about for like 25, nice. 28 years. You know what I mean? Yeah, it just starts slow, and then you know, as I learn more and everything, then I. Your fantastic the bone soup. I've been doing that for years, but I didn't know to put the apple cider vinegar in it. Nice, good. I'm glad I helped you on that. It helps dissolve yeah. the cartilage. Right. Yep. Yep. I've been listening. Just started listening, to archiving you, and that. I'll make it quick. But what's going on? I think, like what you said, Robert, earlier. You know, I think I've got the protein, enough protein, and the blood sugar. I'm not quite sure about. But a couple months ago, I just started getting nausea, vomiting, nausea. Okay. And I know I know that my diet I have to watch cuz I I can't say I don't cheat I don't cheat and have pizza or something, you know. You, do you have nausea anyway, after do you get nauseous after pretty much anything you eat kind of thing or Mostly every morning. Now the thing is since I've been listening to you the last month or something, I mean, and I've had every test possible. I mean, what am I going to do? You know, I did it, but I'm not going to do it anymore, but they can't find anything. And the thing is like I have I'm on lockdown now. I'm doing what you're telling me. I'm actually on my way to I should have stopped in the parking lot to listen to, because I'm on the way to get to, like I know I think the EFAs I need and the adrenal glands. I think that's my problems in there because I'm 46. Give me a question, and, Mindy. Put a question yeah. mark at the end of the statement so I can help you out. Okay. What am I missing or lacking? Or I have too much. I'm hyper all the time. You're I'm hyper all the time? Nauseated and nauseated every morning. And okay. I, I eat right. I, okay. I black down. The exercise has gone down because you said no stress. I'm doing a hot tub. I'm doing it's, all. I think it I'm sounds like right. something is getting into your system that's burdening the body. It sounds like some kind of adrenal stress. Now, you probably know if you've been listening to the program, there's, there's all these dimensions to health. We always talk about the physical dimension, but you have to address the spiritual and mental and emotional components, too. And, and I know I, I, I don't say it enough, yeah. but it's extremely important. Those need to be yeah. addressed. In fact, they're primal. I totally they're, agree. I they're more I fundamental. Totally than the nutrition, than the as as much as I love the nutrition aspect, you guys know I love the nutrition and the chemistry. The spiritual and the mental and emotional are fundamental and primal. And so, if you have any issues like that, those need to be addressed from a physical perspective. From a physical perspective, something's still getting into your system that's causing some distress, and I'm not sure what that would be. And the only way to know is to kind of – food is the most likely suspect. It always is the right. first thing that you want. It's like, you know, when, when, when somebody – the wife gets murdered, they're always the husband. It doesn't mean the husband did it, but that's the first guy they go to, uh, yep, you know? Yep, yep. And it's like what I have with food. When there's a distress in the body, it doesn't mean it's always going to be food. But that's the first place you want to look. The digestive system is the first place to look. So uh, it might not be a bad idea for you to take two or three days off or one or two days off, at least from food entirely. Uh, do a one-day so or one two-day fast, and I'm going to be talking here. about. Fa- I, I'm going to talk about fasting next week. That, but I lost 11 pounds. Doesn't matter. You don't have to worry about losing weight unless you get, unless you get emaciated. You don't have to worry about losing weight. Most of us don't have a problem. How much do you weigh? 109. And, and how tall are you? Five five. five. You're not. That's not. Re- that's not incredibly unhealthy. Uh, is it? Do you have a, any body fat on you? Or are you lean and mean? Like. No, I'm pretty, I'm right, lean and mean, because I just Okay, well, if you, if you take a, a day off from food, you're not going to, it's not going to be the end of the world for you. In fact, one day off of food actually helps you build some muscle mass, which I'll be talking about uh, next week. So, but you have to hit the reset button in order to figure out what the heck's going on in your system. And the only way to hit the reset button is to stop eating for a day or two, and then reintroduce foods, especially your favorite foods. This is the best way to detect a food problem, is to clean the, uh, clean the decks, clear the decks, take a day off from food, hit the reset button and then spend the next day eating your favorite food only that food if you love bread just spend all day eating bread if you love pasta spend all day eating pasta if you love ice cream spend all day eating ice cream so it's like a reverse elimination diet and it's a lot easier to do and you'll find that among your, fir- your first two or three or four favorite foods you're going to find that's typically where your problem is going to be and then you eliminate that food and then you go live normally for a week or so and then you do the same thing again take a day or two off from food and then reintroduce another food in there and see what it is if you're okay with that food then that food is okay if you're not you eliminate that food and you keep going and it's a, it's a game it's a puzzle but trying to figure it out is the most important thing you can do and the fact that you're nauseous and you have uh, uh, you wake up in the morning queasy or, and after you, after you eat certain foods that's telling me that you're not absorbing nutrients, and that can be a significant problem. So it's really important that you get down to the bottom of this thing. If you're not doing deep breathing techniques, by the way, that's very important. If you're not doing um, uh, working on the adrenal glands, it sounds like you have some adrenal stress. Uh, that might be something that you want to focus on. Celtic sea salt, vitamin C. Vitamin C is the primal panacea, as Dr. Thomas Levy calls it. That means it's good for everything, uh, maybe a gram or two, every uh, a gram or two twice a day. So you're up to four grams or so a day of vitamin C. Of course. 
course, the, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine is a must-have. It's just a must-have for everybody, but especially if you're dealing with some kind of, uh, some kind of physical stress, uh, some kind of physiologic stress. Uh, the nausea is a little bit troubling. It tells me that there's something going on in the digestive tract, and that would be something that you want to focus on. I've got to move on, Mindy. I apologize. I want to see if I can squeeze a couple more calls in. Uh, Jim, in Michigan, what's going on? How you doing? Hey, Ben. How you doing? I'm doing good. I've got about a minute, man. I've got to go fast or maybe okay, call back yeah. up. Real quickly, uh, at uh, 16, uh, I had an injury, uh, had my meniscus and this important cartilage removed. I'm 65 now, having problems with my knee. Can yeah. I build that meniscus? Uh, Heck yes. Is it possible? Uh, well, if it's torn, I, I can't say on the phone because I don't know how bad the damage is. But just generally building connective tissue, as we've been talking about, there's a lot of things you could do. Most importantly, you've got to stay away from any kind of foods that, that, that cause inflammation or activate your defenses, your immune system. That means, of course, as I said earlier, sugar, restaurant food, processed food, box food. If there's a commercial for it, it's probably a food you want to stay away from. And then finding foods that are specifically causing you distress, eliminating those foods, bowel movement problems, gas, bloating, all these are signs that you're having problems with a specific type of food, and those you need to stay away from. And then building up the connective tissue using nutritional supplements, protein is the key player, but so is vitamin C, so is the glucogel, the longevity glucogel caps that has the amino acids for building connective tissue, as well as the gelatin. Uh, Essential fatty acids are important. You probably want to get on the Healthy Start Pack, and certainly uh, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine can be a lot of help as well. And I'm sorry that we went so fast, Jim. There's so much more I wanted to tell you, but if you can call back, uh, if you call back on Monday and tell the call screener we left you on hold, we'll get you first up. And if we left you on hold, I apologize to you as well. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks so much for listening, folks. Have a wonderful, awesome, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. Now you can get the same survival food U.S. Special Forces use on their toughest field missions. High-protein, high-energy, freeze-dried foods known as long-range patrol rations or LERPs. Soldiers love LERP rations. They're lightweight and easy to carry. Easy to prepare by just adding water. Easy to enjoy because they taste great. Civilians love LERPs as a solution for emergency preparedness and recreational activities with limited storage space, such as hiking, climbing, sailing, or RV travel. Veteran-owned Freeze-Dry Guy is your exclusive source for this 2013 U.S. military overrun. Long on nutrition, these delicious entrees have a long shelf life, lasting decades. But this rare opportunity, this limited supply, will not last long. You have to act now. Call 866-404-3663, 866-404-FOOD, or log on now to freezedryguy.com, freezedryguy.com. Big business has discovered the preparedness market, and that makes it difficult to know where to go and who to trust. MyPatriotSupply.com is owned and operated by patriots just like you. Has the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more. MyPatriotSupply.com has old-fashioned values and the absolute best customer service in the industry. Look for the deal of the day, unique affordable survival. Survival supplies that fit anyone's budget. Get same day shipping on all orders and free shipping on orders over $49. Call 866 229 0927. 866 229 0927. Or visit mypatriotsupply.com for emergency preparedness, self reliance, and food independence. Shop with a name you know and a name you can trust. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotsupply.com.